Welcome. Good morning. Honored guests to this public trial, please stand for the jury. Please be seated. Calling the case of the people of the state of MBTI Groryland versus INFP. Are both sides ready? Ready for the defense, your honor. Ready for the people, your honor. So, distinguished guests, the lawyers will now make opening statements. The purpose of an opening statement is to give the lawyers an opportunity to tell you what they expect the evidence will show, so that you will better understand the evidence as it is introduced during this trial. I must caution you, however, that the opening statements are not evidence. Miss INFJ. Thank you, Your Honor. Have a good day. Good afternoon, everyone of the jury. I really appreciate that you showed up today. Your Honor and distinguished jury, the defendant has been charged with the crime of eating the ice cream in the fridge belonging to someone else without the permission of the owner. Turns out the ice cream had a paper in it and INFP didn't mind it. The evidence will show that a Tres Leches ice cream was stolen on the night of March 6th. The defendant's fingerprints were on the fridge. The evidence I present will prove to you that the defendant is guilty as charged. Your Honor and distinguished jury. Under the law, my client is presumed innocent until proven guilty. During this trial, you will hear no real evidence against my client. You will come to know the truth. The INFP was just opening the fridge, but not taking anything with her. Therefore, my client is not guilty. The prosecution may call its first witness. I don't have to explain anything. I'm the judge. The people call the owner of the ice cream. So, ESCP, how are you doing? I'm doing not so good. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. How is your family? Are they here today? Nope. Mm, I'm sorry. ESCP, do you eat ice cream on a regular basis? Yes, I do. So you would call yourself an ice cream lover? Objection. Yeah. Yes. That question is suggestive. It is. Reformulate the question. Do you love ice cream? Objection. Loving something is not really a fact, and what are we measuring love with? Especially love towards something and not someone. True. <clears throat> Please reformulate your question to something that gives us data. ESTP. Does the combination of sugar, fat, frozen water, and air promote the release of both dopamine and serotonin after smelling or seeing it? Yeah. So it is possible to say that you know many brands of ice cream and that you're also very clear of what your favorite ones are. Yes, I'm very clear. ESTP, where were you on the night of March 6th? I was spotting really hard. No, I was not. Sorry, what? Mm. Sorry, what was that? I was checking an app. Okay. What was that app? Mm. Sorry, come again? You're my type. I know, I know, I am the type of person who makes friends easily in real life. But hey, I'm an ice cream nerd. It's also hard for us to find people we share the same interests with. Besides, turns out I found a lot of people like me there. So, what is that app about? Well, well you're, you're my, my type is a social discovery and dating app. Where you can find great friends from all over the world. Especially with similar interests than you. Like ice cream. You're my type uses personality types to make connecting with people online more meaningful. You can initiate a quiz based on memes after matching with someone, 
which happens by taking a compatibility test. The app is 100% free and is available worldwide on iOS and Android. Check the app at the link below or in the app stores and get your a good friend or more. You're my type. Download it now. What was that voice? What voice? Wait, no, I shouldn't be concerned about the voice, but about you getting a bit of a script here. Nice up though. My check later. Ina J, proceed. Was the ice cream you had in the fridge at Tres Leches brand San Francisco? Yes. And when did you realize your ice cream was gone? The next morning, I wanted to have ice cream for breakfast and it was gone. How do you make sure people know which ones are your ice creams in the fridge? I put a paper in the ice cream with my name. Did anyone see INFP taking your ice cream with that paper you mentioned? Yes, my neighbor saw exactly that. Have you given anyone, including the defendant, permission to take or eat that ice cream with the paper? Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. Thank you. I have no further questions. Does the defense have any questions? I do, Your Honor. Sure. Hello, dear witness. I just have one question. Maybe more. It depends. Okay. okay. Do you struggle with controlling your ice cream cravings? No. Do you eat ice cream every day? Yes. <laughs> Are you addicted to ice cream? No. Objection. Objection dismissed. It was extemporaneous. It would be ideal if witnesses wait for two seconds before answering the questions so we can accept objections. Thank you. You can proceed. I don't have any more questions, Your Honor. The witness is excused. The prosecution may call the next witness. The people call an expert, a chef, ESFJ. Can you tell us what a Tres Leches ice cream consists of, briefly, please? <laughs> First, you need to combine condensed milk with evaporated milk and vanilla. You beat cream until soft peaks form. You add that to the previous mixture. Freeze until it has a nice cream texture and then you can put it in the refrigerator 30 minutes before serving. But I always recommend sprinkling on top with pancake pieces or crackers. It's an explosion of flavor. Thank you, I have no further questions. Um, does the defense have any questions? Not at this time, your honor. The witness is excused. Does the prosecution have any other witnesses? Yes, your honor, the people call the neighbor. Um, another one? <clears throat> another one. <laughs> Good. ESCJ, where were you on the night of March 6th? I went outside to buy some groceries for dinner. Did you pass by the house where INFP and ESCP live? Yes, I did. Could you see something that was happening? I'm not nosy, but I saw INFP open in the fridge with a very suspicious attitude. So I got worried and I kept looking and she took an ice cream out of the fridge and it was a Tres Leches brand San Francisco and it had a paper on and she ate it with a very evil face. Huh. Um, thank you. Uh, I don't have any more questions, honestly. Does the defense have any questions? Yes, your honor. Yes, EJ. Don't you have anything better to do? <laughs> yes, I do. I was just trying to help. Hmm. Thank you for your work. No more questions, Your Honor. The witness is excused. Your Honor, the people rest their case. Is the defense ready with its case? Yes, Your Honor. I call the defendant. INFP, where were you on the night of March 6th? I was at home. Did you see a Tres Leches brand San Francisco in the fridge that night? I think I opened the fridge twice, maybe three or more times that night. I'm not sure what I saw. I was just trying to find something to eat, but I never did. So you didn't take anything? No. Oh wait, maybe I did take something. It had a paper on it, but I put it back. Was there any particular reason you took that something? Hmm. No, I was just curious. So you put it back and closed the fridge and left. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Did you see anyone outside your house while you were doing that? 
Mm, no, but there's a curtain, so I don't see directly outside unless I grab the curtain and move it. Thank you, I have no further questions. Does the defense have any questions? Me? You guys. The prosecution. Yes, your honor. INFP, did you take the ice cream with you? Objection. That question is suggestive and redundant. Since INFP never said that the thing she saw with a paper on was the ice cream, and she already said that she didn't take it with her. That's technically correct. The best kind of correct. Reformulate or change the question. Do you often open the fridge without taking anything with you? Objection! What? I have nothing. Sorry. Go on. Doing that is illegal. Is it? Um, I'm not so... Wait, I am the judge. Of course you can't do that. Okay, sorry. As I was saying, do you often open the fridge without taking anything? Yeah. Is that because you're thinking about taking someone else's ice cream? Not at all. I just think food will appear magically or something. That's not very convincing, but I'll take it. I have no further questions. The witness is excused. Does the defense rest? Yes, your honor. Are you ready with final arguments? Yes, your honor. Yes, your honor. Your honor and distinguished jury. Even though I won't mention this trial was absolutely biased and totally against my client and my arguments, I won't say this as I'm saying, there is no question that after listening to INFP, her story has a lot of incoherence. Not to mention that my client, ESTP, still doesn't have the ice cream. The ice cream disappeared. The crime was committed. And INFP was the only person aware of that ice cream and with the chance of getting it. Based on that evidence, you must find the defendant guilty. Your Honor, distinguished jury, INFP was unlucky to be around the kitchen when ESJ neighbor was absolutely by accident seeing through a curtain with some kind of superpower or something. She was unlucky to be there. We know by her word that she didn't take anything with her. The prosecution has presented no real evidence to show you that this is not true. That means that there is a reasonable doubt and therefore you must find INFP not guilty. Will the four-person please stand? Has a jury reached a unanimous verdict? Wait, did you actually find people who are addicted to ice cream like you? I'm not addicted to ice cream, I just enjoy it. I don't know, all that serotonin thing was weird. Wait a minute, this is not about what I do with my life. This is about whether your client is guilty or not. I'm not. And the worst part, it is that it doesn't even matter if you ate it. I'm happy you did. You know what, it's okay. We are in a trial. I made a big deal out of this, but I don't really care. It's an ice cream. Oh, you're great. I'm sure you'll find friends with that app. Someone told me to come. I don't know why I came. I just wanted to wear this hat, man. I don't know why I became a lawyer. It's not okay. What? Wait. Objection! Um, you don't get to say objection. Silence! Are you waiting for something? You said silence. Were you going to say something? No, I just wanted silence. Oh, yeah, right. <clears throat> Before knowing the verdict of the jury, do you have anything else to say, INFP? If I'm guilty, I just want to make sure that my pets will be okay. I really need someone to take care of them. And not just anyone. They're not just pets. You know, they're family. They're my friends. They're always there for me. And whenever I saw myself in dark times, they were my light. I'll make sure they're safe. Wait, you're my lawyer. What am I complaining? I already said it wasn't a big deal. It kind of like makes no sense. Yeah, don't worry. You don't have to be perfect. Just keep going. <laughs> okay. I am a lawyer because I want to help people. Will the jury for a person please- Ice cream thief! Enjoy prison food! No, I won't because I'm vegan and I'm sure they don't have options. Wait, you're vegan? Yeah, huh? Are you by any means 
flexible about it? Like, would you ever make an exception? <laughs> of course not. I do not go against my values or morals. Absolutely not. Interesting. Could ESG neighbor come to the witness stand? I just need to clarify something. Thank you. Sorry if I'm being unconventional here, but your story never made sense to me. Ina Fee says she's vegan. How could you see her eating ice cream? She must be lying. And how could you see with the curtains? They, they were, were open, open that, that night. night. And why do you judge someone's attitude while they're in their own house? You called her suspicious. Wait, this story makes no sense. What do you do after that? I called and told ESCP what happened. And then? And then I waited to see what else happened, but nothing happened. For how long did you wait? Two hours. What did you do before that? I was working. I'm a busy person. So I came home and went outside immediately after that. Huh. So you had dinner pretty late that night, even though you were working, so you were hungry. I assume you were hungry. Did you eat something while you were waiting or before that or anything? No. I guess an ice cream would have been pretty tempting. That went pretty well. I didn't know you were vegan. Oh, uh, I'm not. <laughs> understand the evidence. Paren, por favor. Por favor. Oye. Oh my god. I'm patient. I'm very patient. I'm not stressed. I just saw my cat flying. <laughs> you know how Mochi was really chaotic? Now I have two chaotic cats. So it's not just two, it's more than two, if you know what I mean. If you know how math works <laughs> and cats work. <laughs> I wanna be appreciated and I spend quality time So instead of staring at me like this Look for your perfect match On your my time Prueba de cámara, prueba de cámara Un, dos, tres Thank you so much for watching this video It took me so long to record it Cause I'm a procrastinator Oh my god! Don't you know I'm a savage? Do you understand the amount of clothes I possess? Yeah, I just want to take his head off. It, it really itches here. Thank you, see you tomorrow. That's... that's my entire participation in this court, in this trial. That's it.